The school system here is so lovely. The teachers and the system surrounding the teachers, so supportive and helpful. I really enjoy it here in New Zealand and at this school. I've never worked in such a big school in my life. It's more diverse here, so there's loads of different nationalities and cultures, and everyone supports each other. As back in the UK, we didn't have that as much. The boys are now at kindy. There's a lot of freedom in this kindergarten for them to sort of enjoy and explore themselves. At the beginning days, I'm really concerned about Michelle's language because she never speaks English. But anyway, she'll be fine. And the teacher told me that because kids just need to play. Play is the common language among the kids. I'm at Hatai Tai Play Centre and it's based on the idea of learning through play. It's done them wonders because they learnt in such a caring, collaborative environment. So when they go to school, my son, the transition was effortless. The focus on testing in the US is pretty high and here, at least through elementary and intermediate school, there hasn't been hardly any testing and not much homework. There are pluses and minuses to that, but the positive side is kids are only kids once. Leah was able to go online and fi find out how the schools structured their classes and a little bit about the, the, their philosophies, but there are also um, ratings by the education department and the, the quality of their tuition. We needed to move to a country where, should they want to go down that, that route of going to university, they're fairly able to compete on an even keel with anyone else, but not to be limited by you know, by who you are. Sean went to school, he took his shoes off and became a little Kiwi boy. Every day when he came back from school, I was asking, is really everything okay with you at school? And he, he said one day, just stop asking. <laughs> it's all good. 